father was a machinist, my grandfather was a machinist, so it's kind of passed down. I've been doing this since I was 12. I was one of the only black people working in the shops. Working in the field, making parts for the defense, making parts for medical field. Then I got an offer from Philly to come teach it to the kids. So that was another motivation for me to really bring it to the black and brown kids and communities and help them get in the shop, diversify these shops, and bring us back. Because America, our diversity is what makes us the greatest nation. So we really want them to see what the workforce is like, you know, at an early age so they can become better and better earlier than people like myself did. Coming in at 18 years old, these guys are immediately breadwinners of their household. It's great to just show them what the real world is about and that you can make a great living doing something honest work such as machining. So once the shops reflect that, we're gonna be unstoppable. G coding and M coding, reading prints, inspection. They're doing all this from 10th to 12th grade because they have the resources. You just sit back like a father and you just smile. That's really all you can do is smile and just be proud of them and just happy for their families. But you can't spend too much time because there's another one coming up that needs your assistance, that needs your focus. So, you know, we're just trying to make a difference. I just want to come to class and be on the machine all day. The t-shirt, besides it's a great t-shirt. And my friends, my partner right here, they are great friends too. I just want to come every day here. I, I can't wait to come to this class. Ben Franklin High School, I saw that kids that did make it through the program's lives were being completely changed. Manufacturing was my opportunity to have a second chance, but in a lot of ways, this is my first chance. The things that I'm doing every day count for everybody, and that gave me a sense of pride and dignity that I'd never felt before, but I wanted to keep on feeling it, not only for myself, I wanted other people that I knew were going through the same thing as me to have that feeling as well. And if I can get out in front of people when they're in middle school or high school, when life starts looking like, I gotta make some of these choices, then you can make a better one. I want to make sure that people don't follow in my footsteps in the bad way, right? And the way that I can control that is by getting these jobs in front of the people. And we know that we've got jobs to fill. And we know that there's people that want these jobs. And if we keep missing each other, then nothing's gonna happen. And as small as it may be, 100 kids per city or whatever I do, you know, it's a start. Let me bring in industry friends and partners. Like, let's all show you that we're willing and you're important and these skills are for you and this industry is for you. And that's the culture of what we do when we work together and we create together and we build together. When I got here, it really helped me put what I was good at to something that I enjoy doing. I love having my hands on and doing stuff with my hands. It didn't really feel like learning to me. It felt like doing something that I wanted to do. I want to be a mechanical engineer. Well, this is going to help me. Like, I can do this and it's going to help me with college. And this is like in the same area as mechanical engineering. And I think that it's helping me progress for my goals for what I wanted to do in the future. We need machinists, we need welders, we need more people in the trades, and every school should start teaching it so we can fill those holes. We're gonna change the culture. The culture is gonna be building each other up and bringing each other with us. And that's how we're gonna build this industry back up.